Hey friend, um, I just wanted to have a message with you one-on-one -on -one and just talk about some of the things that I feel like God's been putting on my heart lately. So just to put a little bit of backdrop in this, um, you know, I, I do believe that God places um, hopes and dreams in our heart. And I just really feel like lately he's been putting some, some things in my heart and I just wanted to share them with you as part of my team and part of my, my old family and, you know, my friend and just being my friend. Um, and I'm going to ask uh, a favor and ask for some help. So anyway, where does this all stem from? So basically it stems about three years ago. Um, my job at work, um, as a middle school math and science teacher was progressively getting harder. And I don't know that I've shared with you, but I battle seven autoimmune diagnoses. Yeah, seven of them. Everything from like ITP and celiac and hypothyroid to lupus and scleroderma and mixed connective tissue disease and fibromyalgia. And I mean, it feels like the list just goes on and on and on. And I was at a point, of course, where I probably told you this before, where my medicines were getting medicines because of the, all the side effects of these medicines. So now I had to take these medicines. And so that's how I started getting back into oils. Um, how I started in oils is a different story. I had knee surgery, but that's a difference. Anyway, we won't take up that time. But anyway, um, I was just an oil user and, you know, the oils were working really good and we were starting to swap stuff over and seeing results and I wasn't getting sick as often as I am because I, you know, have so many, um, you know, autoimmune issues that, you know, my, my health was either overreacting or underreacting. And so um, health wise, I was just seeing all of these things happening as I was taking the toxins out of my house, not just with oils, but also the supplements that I was taking, my body was responding really well to it. And so, um, you know, I didn't have to rely on medications as much. And anyway, just felt better overall. Well, in May, about three years ago, I started to kind of feel, actually it was about April, May, um, that squeer had been really super, super hard. And I was just really having a hard time with it. And um, the kids were just being super naughty. I call it the super group. And those kids are freshmen right now and they are way too big. So that was part of it. As a group, they were, they should have been three separate classes or at least like two and a half kind of thing um, mixed in with another grade level or something. But um, they were way too much. I had huge classes and because they've always been huge classes and big together, they're naughty, just really super naughty. Um, I made bad choices. Anyway, anyway, all that to say, I thought I can't do this for 20 some odd more years. I just, I can't. I love teaching. I love teaching. I love, um, you know, helping people solve problems. I love helping them find solutions, um, not only with math and science, but you know, health and wellness is kind of like science. And that's why it, it kind of resonated to me. I never, ever thought in my life I was going to own my own business. So uh, my parents owned their own business. I saw that um, pretty much it just kind of kept them um, away from the family a lot, or my dad at least. And so I thought, no, uh, -uh never, and never of an MLM company. Well, of course I learned it's not a pyramid scheme. You know that. I mean, it's just like ordering off of Amazon, except for they just don't have a storefront, right? So um, anyway, I started entertaining the idea of running Young Living as a business knowing full well that I was not going to become a multimillionaire the next month, knowing full well that it would take me to grow my business. So of course I've done a lot of leader, um, you know, stuff and I've done some, um, personal development. I've done some classes and stuff and they always come back to your why. And I always felt really bad because my why was really selfish. I wanted to retire early from teaching. I just do. Um, Yes, I make a decent, for an Idaho teacher, I make decent money. And so there was, of course, I needed to, I not only needed to swap out things in my house, chemicals versus non-toxic, but I also needed to swap income, right? I mean, it's really great that uh, my oils are paid for now. Um, it's really good. And I should give you the income disclosure statement because, of course, I mentioned money. Um, but um, it's really, actually, all of our oils are paid for. So uh, Dan's account and mine's account, um, it, that's great. But but that doesn't touch my salary that I get from teaching. 
So I always felt selfish. Like that's my selfish why. I call it, oh, it's my selfish why. You know, some people might be like, I want to have a vacation home or I want to be able to take three vacations a year. You know, I, I love what I do, but you know, I have these little things that we want our family to do or we want to put our kids to college or we especially in this day and age we don't want our kids in public school we want to be able to afford private school or we want to bring the wife or the husband home so that they can teach the kids at home <laughs> or you know my husband has a sucky job I want to bring him home you know there's a, there's so many kind of I want to call selfish wise and they really aren't selfish they make your family's life better right um, for a variety of reasons maybe it just it helps the family be more cohesive maybe it's less stress but, but the finances are still there and yeah it really works I mean if you work the business like a business it works I was not earning back all of the money for my oils the very next month there are some people who do I mean there are those amazing stories like people hit this rank in six weeks and boom they're off and running and that's awesome that's just not my story and that's okay so um, because for the most part I have a full-time job I've been running Young Living as a side gig well fast forward now to about three years later and I'm getting closer Dan and I made a five-year plan that within five years they, we wanted me to be able to retire from teaching so technically I this this current school year and the next year school year would be within well within our five-year plan and we're I would say really pretty on par um, for me um, and it's not really a rank it's um, if you look at the income disclosure statement it's about between silver and gold you can be a star rank and make a silver paycheck you totally can so for me, it's not rank, but if you look at the income disclosure statement where I'm aiming for and at Silver, there's some earning opportunities because they see you as a leader. So there's other earning opportunities that you start having that would make your paycheck rise a little bit. So between silver and gold or a really good solid gold paycheck is what I'm aiming for within the next two years. That makes sense, okay? So where do you come in? Well, the fact, I'm not gonna sit here and say, oh, I need you to be on ER, and I need you to order, and can you please, 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 please share, because, oh my gosh. Okay, I'm not that type of person, but I have been watching people lately say, when I got to gold, we pushed and blah, 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 and my team rallied behind me. And I'm like, what does that mean? Um, because I don't have a lot of people who want to do Young Living as a business, and that's okay. Did you know that 89% of all of Young Living members are just members? They're customers just like you. They might share occasionally like, oh, look at my cute little diffuser that I got. Do you see Feather? It's so awesome. Or my kid loves this roller that my friend Stacy made. Or I went to Stacy's class. Or, you know, and that's great. I, I, I know that you guys do that. Um, and that's fine because you're not running a business. You're not running a side gig. I'm not saying, Hey, can you please tell them you got great customer service at, you know, <laughs> it's not that type of business. Right. But I feel like lately God has been downloading some big dreams in my heart. And this is not like me, you guys. First of all, I don't dream literally. Like I don't feel like I dream. Like I go to sleep. I'm out because I'm usually like run, 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 run during the day. So I know my brain processes at night while I'm sleeping, but I don't remember anything. In fact, I had kind of a, a bad dream the other, other day and I woke up, I must've woke up to it because I remembered it so vividly. In fact, Dan's like, just shh, stop talking about the dream because it was not a good dream <laughs> and he was in trouble. <laughs> like <laughs> that kind of trouble. Um, but anyway, um, I mean, it was a dream. <laughs> if you watch Tim Hawkins, it's like when he's like, oh, Tim, you didn't save me from the unicorn. You know, okay, that's a Tim Hawkins reference. Go look it up. Tim Hawkins, wife, dream, unicorn. It's funny. He's hilarious. Squirrel. Okay. So anyway, but lately God has been placing some dreams in my heart. And so some of it has been like actual dreams at night and some of it have been like in my gratitude journal um and when i journal in the morning in my quiet time these are just things that i feel like have just been downloaded into my heart so one thing you need to know about me is i never ever 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 never ever would i ever consider being a missionary ever i have gone to africa i went with a team from my church 
oh gosh, I want to say about five years ago, and I loved it. I made some really amazing friends there, Eugene and his wife Florence. Um, I've met other missionaries that my heart has just connected to. I, I have a big, huge heart for Hope for Justice, which helps with human sex trafficking and ch child trafficking. Um, my heart and whole, or so, uh, soul hope. So look at all those up um, if you have time and just uh, save our children. And so all of these missions I've been really passionate about. Now, some of them are here local, like, you know, Hope for Justice didn't start here local, but, um, you know, helping people with sex trafficking and child trafficking, that's everywhere, right? You don't have to actually go anywhere. But God has been placing it on my heart. Like um, Eugene and Florence recently just needed a car. I'm not going to go into the huge story. They just needed a vehicle. And it was really hurting my heart that I couldn't just write that check for them. Um, they live in a very, 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 very small um, place for their family. And it hurts my heart that I can't just write them a check to help them build a home. Because they do so much for other people. I want to help and do for them. And yet I can only give this much because of the paycheck that I have. So, yeah. Um, God has placed a lot of those things on my heart. So um, Hope for Justice has what's called lighthouses, and those are safe places all around the world. Um, we have Mary's Lighthouse, so Mary Young has a, a lighthouse um, that's a safe place for people who are trafficked, um, and they get pulled out of sex and, and human trafficking, and it's a safe place for them to restore and learn and get back into hopefully what's going to be their new normal. And it's been placed on my heart, I want to build a lighthouse. Now that sounds weird. <laughs> it's not a boating lighthouse. <laughs> it's just that beacon in the night. And I can't even believe that I'm saying it. I can't even believe it's coming out of my mouth. But these are not gold dreams. These are not silver dreams. These are not, I'm replacing my paycheck dreams. These are big, what I call royal crown diamond dreams. I need to have a royal crown diamond paycheck to help do some of these things that God has placed on my heart. And hear me, friend, if you know me at all, and I hope you do, it's not so that I can have a vacation home in the Bahamas. Not that there's anything wrong with that, but it's not my dream to have uh, three boats, five cars, <clears throat> excuse me, six homes, you know, a home in, in five states, you know, or whatever the case may be. Um, and you probably know me well enough to know that I don't take real vacations. <laughs> so it's not like I want to go be on vacation more. My heart is to help people and I need your help. I really do need your help. So how can you help? A couple different things. You know, when I ask you to share, Hey, that's a great picture. I love that picture of your diffuser. Will you share that on social media? Just share it. And that way, if somebody happens to ask you about oils and you're like, whoa, 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 I don't do the business, send them to me, okay? I'm happy to take that that burden off your shoulders. I'm happy to take that off, you know, just don't even worry about it. Just say, yeah, yeah, you can get this too. My friend Stacy is great. And here's the deal. Here's what's even better. I'll place them under you. They're your friend, right? You can help them with the journey and I'll help you with it. You don't have to do the business at all. Let me help you with that or host a party. I know Young Living doesn't typically do parties, but I've kind of worked it around. I, I've kind of worked it around so that we can start getting oils into other people's households. I just found out, let me tell you another story. I just found a, 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 a couple friend of ours from church is pregnant again. I cannot tell you how many miscarriages this poor family has had. And I wish I could just get my non-toxic products into their house. I mean, like, I literally wish I could just show up at their doorstep, not ask for payment, and just say, because I know that you're battling with these, I'm 100% sure you have endocrine disruptors in your home. I'm sure you have not looked at the fragrances in your shampoos, the plugins that you put in your wall, the things you put on your skin, and I want to help you. Did you notice that that didn't even say, like, oils? Which... And the oils that would support your body during pregnancy, the oils that, you know, all these things. I wish I could just show up at their house and say, here, I have done some research and these are the things that are going to best support your family during this time. 
Let's start weeding out the toxins. Let's pull this from your laundry. Let's pull this from your, your, the soap that you're using on your dishes, because guess what? That goes in your mouth. You know, I wish I could just show up to this family's home and just say, here, here, here you go. I want to help you and not ask a penny for it. So, but I can't, I mean, I, I, I don't have that kind of paycheck. I, I wish I could, but I can't, but people need that. Do you know somebody who is trying so hard to get pregnant? Do you know somebody who's miscarried so many times? Do you know somebody who's having female problems? I was that person. I was that person. I had to have a hysterectomy because of all the fibroids and endometriosis issues that I had. Yeah, I'm a hot mess. Do you know probably why I'm a hot mess? Yeah, probably for all those things, those plugins I put in, the max uh, wax melts that I had in my, my house. Anyway, all this to say, so you never know who you're going to impact. You never know whose life needs more energy, needs more pep in their step. That's Ningxia. That's Ningxia. Those are supplements. Who needs to sleep better? Yeah, it might be a diffuser sitting by their bedside, but maybe they just need to take sleep essence and actually take something really positive that has that's good for their body and doesn't have any chemicals in it. Do you know when I do an ionic foot bath? I'm still pulling out nasty toxins and I don't even, I'm not even on any meds anymore. Crazy, huh? So these things stay in our body for long term and we really need to just help people pull them out and help people have better alternatives, right? That's what we're all about. So please share. If you hear somebody talking about, gosh, I'm so tired, say, hey, you know, I'd love for you to talk to my friend Stacy. She's got this crazy drink. It's called Ningxia or Ninja or I don't know. It's like that, but I don't know what it's called. But she drinks it every day and she's got this really crazy, amazing energy. <laughs> Just bring them, send them to me. I can do the rest. So I basically I'm asking for referrals or share your referral link. I would love for you to get that $50 thank you gift from Young Living when your friend signs on. It, it, the $50 isn't going to make or break me. However, teaching people is going to fuel me because that's my heart to teach people about the Young Living lifestyle, to also see them getting their health and wellness under control, but also to just be able to help people. That's my heart. But also, it does fuel my paycheck. It fuels your paycheck. It may give you enough money to pay for that extra oil. Or did you know the holiday catalog is coming? <laughs> right? All those little extra things that are not in your budget. And that way, it can help you out a little bit. And you're not even doing the business. All right. So, and then it builds. And then your friends know friends. And your friends know friends. No, I'm not asking you to make a list of 100 friends. Although, if you want to. That is okay too. What I'm asking you to do is just spread the word, please. Just talk to your friends. Host a party. I'll totally do it for you. You want to get to a few friends together and do some rollerballs or DIY or do some stuff like that? That's what I'm asking for. And you're like, well, we can't. I don't even live next to you. Great. Let's do it online. I can send you a package. You can get some friends together. We can Zoom call. And it's a lot of fun. We can do anything like that online. I can send little little packages in the mail and we can be all spread out across the world and be able to do it together on a Zoom call. I've done classes like that too. So what I'm asking for is to help fuel my God dreams. First of all, my dream to be in a more secure, help, helpful, uh, healthful job situation. I love teaching. I wish I could tell you that my workplace environment is not toxic, but it is. So I've done what I need to do at home to make sure that my environment is non-toxic. But my environment at work is toxic, at least for my body. And it's just, it's not working really well. I need to, I need to step up my five-year plan. It's, it's imperative to my health. Um, and then also to help me fuel those Royal Crown Diamond God dreams. So I'm just imploring you to help me out. And if this, if nothing else, that I hope this message comes to you 
with love and joy and the fact that you love your Young Living products and you might want to just know more about some Young Living products that might help support you and your family and your dreams and share your story. And that's awesome. Maybe it help, maybe it's that sister that you know or the sister-in-law that you know or your mom or your mother-in-law. My mother-in-law is on, on Young Living products for a variety of reasons. So you're never too young or never too old to start with your Young Living products and your Young Living journey. So I hope this also helps you to start dreaming big. I was not a dream big person. I was a person who thought, mm, I'm a single mom at the time. And I'll just be really happy if I get to have a decent job that pays the bills. And there you go. That's it. That's all I wanted. I just wanted to survive life and have an okay life. I don't want to have an okay life anymore. Here I am at almost 45 years old and God is downloading some big God dreams. <laughs> my, my life's not done yet. I'm excited. So I hope you're excited with me, if nothing else, so that you'll start dreaming big God dreams. All right, share them with me. What what big God dreams do you have? What could an extra $200 do for you? Would that pay for your oils? What could an extra $500 a month do for you? $1,000 a month. And you're like, okay, Stacy, I get what you're saying. I don't want to do the business. That's okay. Nobody says you have to do the business. But what would it be like if you had that extra income coming in just because you shared and you're not even doing the business? Just a thought. So, all right, friend, thanks for listening to me. I realize I look at the clock and I see how, how much time I've rambled on, but I appreciate your time and I appreciate your help. Until then, we'll talk next time. Bye-bye.